Welcome back to Alliance War. It's season 39, War 3, 4, Loki is facing AE. Never heard of these guys, but we're facing a war, so let's do it. All right, so this particular war, I'm not going to be bringing Blade or Ultron. I'm going to be bringing a different team, and I've had a horrific start in both 4, Loki, and SSX, and uh, I need sort of my blankie in MCOC, which is Miguel. And then I'm going to, in order to boost my confidence, I'm going to go back to a very, very old, reliable champ in Corvus Glaive. Um, AE was kind enough to give us a couple Corvus paths, and so we got to use Corvus this war for the first time in a very, very long time. Thank you very much to them for the belated Christmas gift. Uh, just one problem. My Corvus is only a rank 3, and he's only sig 41. And I made a promise in both of my previous war videos this season that I would only be using rank 4 sig 200 champs on offense. And so I have really sort of backed myself into a corner here um, because Corvus Glaive... Um, Sig ability is absolutely uh, useless. I mean, you, you basically need to have him awakened, but whether he's Sig 1 or Sig 200 is completely irrelevant in terms of any sort of practical usage in any game mode. Um, it's a very strange Sig ability where as soon as he's awakened, you, you pretty much want him awakened and then never want to get him ever again. Um, and mine is 41. So I'm sort of... Uh, back to a corner here as to whether or not I'm going to use 159 SIGs in order to keep my promise. PWF was absolutely salivating over this. And uh, I, I, had, I even went so far as to look at his SIG ability again just to see how bad it was. And yeah, it's real bad. It's real bad. And I've decided I'd rather be a liar than an idiot. I'm not going to take him to SIG 200. So I'm going to break my promise to you, my loyal viewers, and I hope that you, the best audience in all of MCOC YouTube, will find it in your hearts to forgive this poor clown who has gone back on his word. Yes, I did take Corvus to rank four, but no, I will not be taking him to SIG 200. All right, so let's get into the fights. Um, I'm going to do path 2A, 3B. Um, these are relatively easy paths. I need these. I need easy paths just to sort of build my confidence back after my atrocious start. Um, and also my teams fit them. So path 2A is the placebo path. It has a, a mojo and a Sauron. I fit well there because I have the Miguel. And also that Sauron is a really tasty Corvus charge. So first up will be this mojo. Um, I've done this fight a thousand times. He killed me earlier this season on 22, but he is not going to kill me here. This fight goes, uh, as smooth as a hot knife through butter. So that's cool. Um, I will say this about Miguel. I learned something about him, uh, this past war in SSX that I did not previously know because I've, I've never encountered it before, but he actually has a built-in mechanic wherein if you don't have dexterity, um, you can still, quote-unquote, dodge by backing up and pause his personal debuff. So you don't actually need to have dexterity on to pause those debuffs, which is an easier way to play him against the neutralized champions like Rintra or uh, the Soul Imprisonment of Mephisto. So that's just a hat tip. Um, you know, even someone who uses them as frequently as I do just never really even put two and two together, which, you know, after you see this Corvus fight against Sauron, you'll think, yeah, Clown's an idiot. Um because this fight's real bad. I throw a special two. I have no charges. So it's not enough to kill him. I go to Dex the special one. And oof, that hurts. And then I apparently tried to block an unblockable um, Yusafa style. And of course, that went predictably bad. So you can see how low my health bar gets. I get back up to a second special two. And that ends the fight. But oof, that was poor. Um, fortunately, all it cost me were a bunch of potions. A.K.A. units. Next up, we have this Surfer. Um, surfer does get armor up buffs, potentially. Um, but, you know, Corvus can obviously armor break on parry. Uh, yeah, and the fight's not going to be long enough that any of the strike counter stuff is really going to matter. So um, I now have a one-charge Corvus with a Power Star 1 and Power Back boost. So it's really built to one special 2. And if for some reason that first special 2 is not enough to kill this Surfer... Um, the uh, second special two certainly will. But 
that's sort of the plan. But the first special two is good enough. This fight's over. All right, so now we can move on to section two, um, taking again path 3B. This is the armor up path. Corvus doesn't care about that because, you know, again, armor break on the parry. First step is to make a sentinel. I'm just going to do medium light attacks until I get to the uh, special two, and that'll end the fight. And that will allow me to pick up my second Corvus charge. This one will be tech. Um, I could have tried to get her to auto block um, and picked up a third, but at rank four, the Corvus is too overpowered. It's just not really worth the, uh, messing around with so just just take the check charge be happy and move on with your life um here's a killmonger this is i don't know why this killmonger would be here as opposed to path 5b killmonger doesn't have any armor up buff so it's a complete and utter waste to put him here um especially since you're likely to have been bringing an armor break champ for this path anyway and armor break just counters him so this is just really really bad placement by ae um i don't get it at all but you know Thanks for the free fight and free kill. All right, next up we have this Cap Sam on 46. Um, this is not a dangerous Corvus fight. Cap Sam is really dangerous on his special two, but with a Power Star 1 boost, I'm going to beat him to this, my special two before he gets his. I don't need to worry about you know backing up and triggering the regen from the node. So it's one special two, fight over, and I pick up a third Corvus charge because Cap Sam is an adventure. So yeah, I, I don't know why I'm like playing around Strike Counter Fury. I absolutely didn't need to. I just needed to get to the special two, but for reasons I did. And um, I guess that uh, elongated or delayed the fight by a few seconds, but it's over super fast. Next up, we have this Gallon on 51. This is one of the two best options. Uh, Corvus is one of the two best options to fight this Gallon. The other one is Blade. Um, but a three-charge Corvus is going to absolutely rinse this gallon and two special twos. So just, you know, start with the Power Star 1 boost. You got your Power Back boost and build to the special two, and this fight will be over very shortly. Gallon is a beefy enough boy on this node that he will survive one special two from a uh, rank four three-charge Corvus, but he's not going to survive a second one. All right, so final fight of this war for me is Mangog on 54. And uh, I realized something that I had never realized before um, in this fight. This is my second realization with Miguel this war. I've only done this fight in the past with an invol boost if I've used any gray boost. And here I still had the attack power boost active from the Gallon fight. And it's actually way, way, way easier with the attack power boost because I can get to that second special two for the second wither and between the three exhaustions and the two withers it's actually a negative power gain on the man gog and so this fight is absolutely cake it's the easiest uh i've ever had against man gog and so I'll, I'll consider doing that in the future if i need to but yeah four loki ended up winning this war um so uh shout out to ae for a good war and super shout out to four loki which is absolutely killing it to start the season thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next life jack